It's time for Riff Track And it's not an easy job They watch movies and they make a jokes about them they Tell their jokes to microphones Put the jokes into a file On a secret server deep beneath the mountain Protected by a dragon We're gonna get to rip those tracks I don't have a big tracks where the rip song is in It's your lucky day, it's time for Riff Tracks. Riff Tracks. Warner Brothers. Hey, Warner Brothers, does your W have a really cool flame on top of it? Yeah, we didn't think so. All the wings of a snow white dove, he sends a girl. Good at moonshine, terrible at plural. <laughs> Four classic scary movie actors. What? Linda Ho is short for horror. Ah, <laughs> better than what it's usually short for, I guess. Right. Hobo. Yeah. <laughs> Well, well, so far I'm not feeling be haunted for this house. Looks like a like a place where nice breakfasts are prepared, monthly bills are paid, and occasional light crafting is done for relaxation, but no haunting. The music, though, pretty terrifying, right? I mean, if you had a fear of easy listening jazz, heavy on the clarinet like I do. Oh, and about that? Ah! Yeah. Hal Bourne's okay, but, but I prefer the Hal Bourne supremacy. Then you'll see hillbillies in a haunted house. Here come the hillbillies. Yeah. Oh, and there's a haunted house. So let's get moving with this chicken fried affair. Hillbilly time. <laughs> Manos 2, the master goes country. Beef. It's what's for driving. We're on our way to Nashville. Been traveling quite a spell. The road's been mighty bumpy. Yeah, and I don't feel too well. Well, We've sitting perched up there, he Nashville. swallowed a yeah, lot it's of bugs. Really quite a spot. You're gonna like old Nashville. I still don't feel so hot. Okay, you're excused from this movie immediately. Scram. I can hardly wait to meet up with the crowd. It's jammery time. Jammery time. It's jam something time. On, in some highly hit. specific place. We're on our way. We're on our way. We're on our way to a swinging jamboree. He's been shot. Oh, no, he's just way. doing a bit. <laughs> We're on our way. We're on our way to Nashville, Tennessee. Act like a dangerous lunatic. Good, Furlan. That's how you wrap up a generic travel song. He was getting shot at. What's up? <laughs> Unconscionably risking violence to civilians is a ding-dang hoot. Oh, brother. <laughs> it's always something. Uh-huh. Oopsie. <laughs> I'm bleeding out, man. Got it! The sad, desperate end of the Blues Brothers. It's okay. Sorry you got caught in the middle. What's going on? Spies. Spies? Man, I'll you must have adenoids the size of grapefruits. These hills. They're all uh, over the place. Eyes. Let's get out of here. Jeepers. You have to relax. You're headed for a nervous breakdown if you don't unwind a little bit. You mean well, nearly getting worry, shot in the head didn't you relax you even a little bit? In this guitar. You entertainers? Yes, sir. We're on our way to Nashville. We're doing a jamboree there. Well, I'm not well, a fan of luck. country music. It's all about ska for me. On. Thank you. Okay, he's the comic relief, but I feel my skin tightening. Where's my relief? What do you... We have to do something about Jeepers. Yeah, I know. He's been working night and day, and I think his nerves are on edge. Again, nearly shot several Jeez. times. What? Now, Jeepers, you know we appreciate what you've done for us. We sure do, Jeeps. 
And I realize you worked awfully hard to try to get the show lined up so we could appear back in Nashville. That's right. And the show is until tomorrow night. So let's nip off and institutionalize you real quick. Restful place for you. We'll see that you relax. Yeah, relax. That's what Jeepers needs, relax. Yes, let our car-mounted guns comfort you. Is Jeeper sitting on something, or does he just have a really tall ass? Nice. Huge outdoor blender for self-service margaritas. Get out of the way, buildings! Hi. Gomer Pyle, the place elder. Place. Well, it should be. Nobody ever comes this way. Where are we? Sleepy Junction. Sleepy Junction. Where are we? Sleepy Junction. Where oh. are we? Sleepy hey, Junction. Where are we? Sleepy Junction. Sir, we're looking for a nice, quiet place to spend the night. Where are we, uh, please? Motel. Sleepy Junction. Nope. Oh, go to hell. A hotel. Nope. Oh. A boarding house? Ma'am, there just ain't nothing around here. What happened to this place? Everybody moved out. Moved over to Acme City. They got a big missile plant there, and the people go where the work is. Wiley Coyote single-handedly revived Acme City's economy. But we'll find a place for you so you can rest and relax. That's okay. I feel good now. I'm not nervous or anything. God here. I hate hillbillies. Thunder. Thunder. Yeah, looks like a storm's coming up. Uh, Don't look too good, does it? Hey, I just thought of something. I'd like to marry my dog. Oh, it's quiet, all right. At least you'd get out of the rain and have a place to stay. Well, where is it? Just follow this road. Thank you. Slowly and silently getting back in the car. Good. Glad we get to see that. Yeah. Starting the car. Take your time. No rush. Pull out leisurely. Yep. Deny me nothing, movie. Wow. Take your time. Really. Hey, wait! Wait! I forgot to tell him it's haunted. Well, I'm sure the cannibal demon groundskeeper will fill him in. Meanwhile, tomorrow... Guess they're filming Night for Day? Ray's going to be coming down any minute. Jeepers, you stay out here. Thunderstorms are almost as relaxing as gunshots. Wait, listen, listen. Jeepers, come on. You're not afraid, are you? Oh, no. Well, come on. Let's move in here and go all Grey Gardens. What are you two waiting for? I'm waiting for my courage to come back. Come on, let's go. The Wizard of Oz is squatting in here. He'll trade you some courage for a can of beans. My courage just left again. Oh, Jeepers, it's just a shutter that fell. Producing a music jamboree doesn't seem to justify Jeepers' crippling PTSD. (laughs) Guy's mugging like he's never actually been in a house before. Damn that haunted house causing lightning to be over it. I don't like this place one little bit. Wow. Quick and weird recasting (laughs) mid-movie. Medieval torture device? (laughs) Gorilla? Yep, everything seems in order here. I said put that monkey back in the cage. All right, all right. I want him to stay in the cage. He comes up once more, once more, I'll kill him. This guy went on to run SeaWorld. Be a good boy. Be a good boy. (laughs) Be quiet. You shouldn't talk to Anatole like that. He's sensitive. He posts poetry on Stay Tumblr. Away from that monkey. Well, it's not exactly a Hilton hotel. But I'll bet a blacklight scan of the sheets wouldn't be much worse. Oh, thanks for keeping up with the utility oh. bills, ghosts. Jeeps, go get the television set. Fire in line with Billy Buckley's almost on. Let's start a fire, huh? Okay. 
Hey, I put the top up on the car, but I know it don't work. <laughs> don't smile, Jeeps. The death rictus is not a good look. Hey, this is kind of fun, you know? Sort of like camping out. I'd like to explore this place once we get settled down. Well, there go my many hernias and ruptures and whatnot. <laughs> I just seen a big hairy monster, or possibly my grandma. Woody, there's something out there. What? Calm down, boy. Listen, I saw a uh, a thing out there. Jeepers, you're a nervous wreck. Now you're seeing things. Are, are they gaslighting Jeepers Boy, for some kind of seat. hick inheritance oh, money and or a goat? What you need is to relax. I want you to know, Jeeps, no matter what happens, that you've been one of the best little business managers anybody could have. But really? you need to unwind. Come over here and sit down in this comfortable chair and just relax, man. Let the bed bugs massage you. That's what I got. I got to relax. Sing him a song, Woody. That always relaxes him. All right. Jeeps, this is one I was telling you about a rope the other day. Called, uh, what was the name of it? Oh, Living in a Trance. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, original title was, Holy Crap, We're All Gonna Die Soon, because it's all about the horrible things that can and probably will happen to you. Relax and enjoy, Jeeps. Just a spell on me the first time we met. Jeepers won't be happy he until he finds his true calling, managing guap. first glance, I didn't know then Cardigan provided by the Tetris of London I was in. Now I'm living in a trance Only in sleep can Jeepers living forget how he was bullied by Dick York in a trance. In a world He sings with the winsfulness of an IBS sufferer hey. I never <laughs> That flashlight got into the gills because of this shot. It's true. I thought it was a jock jam. Sadly, his singing provided enough cover for the carbon monoxide leak to claim its first victim. Shh. He's sleeping like a baby. Is he asleep or is he hypnotized? Either way, it'll make a hell of an opening song. Who's there? That song's copyrighted, by the way. I'll see who it is. <laughs> Who's there? Come on, speak up. Who is it? Nobody. Well, come on in then. I want to meet the complete absence of a person face to face. You a ghost? <laughs> Not yet, but you darn near scared the life out of us. That Me gentle too. knock was bone what chilling. What are you doing here? We were just passing by. We thought we heard guitar music coming from this place. Oh, that was me. You live around here? Who's your cardigan supplier? We figured if it was a ghost, <laughs> must be friendly if it plays a guitar. What made you think it was a ghost? Because this place is haunted. Nobody comes near here. It's the well, Gary, Indiana of real water, estate. Nothing has happened. <laughs> You're one of the lucky ones. Oh, I don't think nothing will happen. Come on in and warm yourselves with the fire. Yeah, we might as well get this home invasion started. Yeah, there's all kinds of strange lights and strange sounds always coming on around this place. Somebody comes in to see if they're real, leaving just like that. Well, it's let's like leave. they don't want to be in a rotting oh, abandoned geez, house. Don't be a baby. We haven't heard a thing. <laughs> Say, aren't you Woody Weatherby? I'm guilty. Oh, sucking. He's a big star. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm proud you heard of me. This is Boots Malone. Hi. And my manager. And stylist. Jeeps. Heard of you folks, too. We plan to sing a little. How about singing one for us? We'd like to. I feel like we're auditioning an act. Hey, hey, well, please don't compare this singing. to a normal there situation. There is one song that we sang about this mansion, an old tomcat, one of the ghosts here. Friendly, partially transparent. Ago, You'll meet him soon. was made famous in these parts. Boots' favorite song is the first few bars of whatever the hell is playing. Now, old Uncle John had troubles of his own. Had an old yellow cat that wouldn't leave home. <laughs> Those mooching boomerang cats. He tried everything he knew to keep the cat away. He even gave it to a preacher and he told him for it to stay. He 
but the cat came back. The cat came They're gonna back. sing the whole plot to Pet Cemetery. The cat came back cause it wouldn't stay away. James Conn summons a smile. Now he gave the old cat to the man in a balloon. He told him to leave him with the man in the moon. And Boots is taking furious so mental notes. Bus, didn't everybody said ten miles away to pick the man up day. But the cat came back. The cat came back. I see a bright future for the Starkweather the family back, singers. Cause he wouldn't stay away. Just like Hank Williams said, and every song with a weird cat sound. That's good. Hip hop hooray, folks! Yeah! Just trying my hands, don't mind me. The South shall spin again! There's nothing there. You suppose maybe it's mass hypnotism? That's hypnotism. That's what I said. Boots, you know better than to call attention to Jeeper Stroke. Been working too hard. Well, I for one do not believe in ghosts, and I think we ought to investigate. But can somebody else take the lead? I'm not built for peeking around corners. <laughs> Isn't anyone coming with me? If you value your sconces, never mount them near a place where there could be a secret passageway. Thank you. You're welcome. That switch also activates the cat bringer backer. Can you pick up the pace? A woman on a motorized stair lift needs to get by. <laughs> One side. I think I'd watch Nosferatu more if he cast Boots as Shadow. <laughs> There's nothing in the rule book that says he can't play baseball! <laughs> well, now you leave yourself open to being cornered oh, by Slimer there. Didn't you see it? See what? That horrible looking thing. Are you sure you saw it? I, I think so. There was a horrible oh, thing. I, I saw it. Yeah, I think I did I see it. I was so frightened. Look, maybe we better get out of here while we can. It could have been my imagination. Boy, between the three of us, there's sure a lot of imaginating going on. I think I ought to re enactionize the Civil War ration. Ning. They stumbled upon the green room at 60 minutes. Bat Demic. One thing for sure, there's something funny about this house. Well, I don't think it's so funny. And I'm not laughing at all. The movie just became self-aware. Oh, maybe it's an owl. An owl? Doing what, dragging a chain to his nest? Ah, Jacob Marley oh, owl, I do run! I not believe in ghosts, and there must be some explanation for all of this. Where are you going? I figured we'd stand in this spot for search? 50 years, Look, then die. This is an old empty house. I know there may be a few ghosts in here, but I think we've searched long enough. I think we ought to get out of here myself. I'm with you. Well, not with you. I'm in agreement. I'm never with you, Jeepers. Only adjacent to you. Remember that. If a ghost really wanted to scare them, it would tell them how many blues chords their music ripped off. Dan Hedaya. What's wrong now? I saw a, uh, uh. What? What? I don't know what it was. Oh, I'll go check the car. Maybe it can Come identify on. what you saw. Poor Jeepers. This isn't a very relaxing place for you, is it? No. My dear Dr. Himmel. Why isn't this place more, more relaxing? We have things to settle and you're concerned with that monkey. It infuriates me. Of course it does. We've made little choice in the matter. I knew from the beginning that it was a mistake. That was not your decision to make. Ah, gorilla Max squabbles. Million Every office has them. Yes, of which you so consistently remind us. From the moment we began this project. You forget that I am the contact with Dr. Fu. I think this without exposition me, needs without exposition. You, we might be much safer. Indeed we might. You've been warned again and again to use the secret entrance, yet tonight you walked right into the house 
as if you were some neighbor on a social jaunt. I love when I Kramer would social jaunt I over to Jerry. I decided to make an investigation. Such foolish investigation endangers the whole project, no matter what your authority. Uh, lack like there like thereof. Look, who are we? Especially since we're so close to achieving our goal. You know perfectly well that we often have visitors who are curious to discover if this is really a haunted house. And we so won't figure out why they stopped coming on November 1st. By radio, we could have notified you of our visitors. What is done is done. <sighs> So we're no longer safe. Even here in the you Old Navy Security known Office. This was not a safe business to be in. But tonight is our last night. It's foolish to endanger the entire project. Well, there's the problem. The rest of the steer's caught in the timing belt. Don't worry. Everything's going to be all right. Bad news. Everything's what all right. Open? Car won't start. Oh, no. Oh, yippee. Well... Guess we'll just spend the night here. I'll be damned if I spend it with those friendly singers who live nearby. We'll bank it so to last until morning. And I think we ought to stick real close together. Good thinking. Boots, I want you to... Be my sleeping bag. Boots? Boots? Boots! Oh, boys. Here I am. Come and see what I found. The glare from Where the nearby you? Holiday Inn gives the cobweb such a beautiful glow. What do you mean, running off? Oh, well, it's just down this hall. Well, we've got to stick together. Yeah, we got to stick together. we got to shower Sorry. together. Stick we together. Stick together. Okay. Come on and see what I found. When I open this door, you won't believe what's inside. By now, I'd believe anything. That hillbillies in a haunted house could make a good movie? I'd believe almost anything. You're right. I don't believe it. Hollywood Isn't Regency beautiful? decor with a Baroque sensibility. Oh, it's been forever right in this one little room. It's so elegant. Like a Graceland-themed nursing home. <laughs> Maybe this is the room of the great lady of the house. Liberace. It's been kept exactly as she left it. Way back in the Civil War days, when she was a, a Southern belle. Uh, please, please, please don't let this somehow lead to jeepers in blackface. <laughs> gowns, gowns, beautiful gowns. Uh, I hum this song when I flip through the David's Bridal catalog on the can. <laughs> from across <laughs> the <laughs> sea, no. You know, it's sad. People focus so much on the negative stuff about the Confederacy that they forget about the gowns. This was Stonewall Jackson's gown. Beard hair still on it. For girl on girl love. I that that's where she was going. Just keep dancing. Don't think about voting rights. Just keep dancing. Usually it's a private ritual, but this is what most women do alone in their bedrooms all day. <laughs> well, now she's naming her favorite Costello, El Sindor, and Zealand. Hmm. I'm glad that ended before Sherman's March. We gotta get out of here. Oh, but it's so beautiful. I could stay here forever. Let us go. I think the waistband of her pants is cutting off her circulation. Gowns! Ugh, the gorilla costume's getting a little patchy. Oh, that's just Lon. Yeah. These corns aren't going to massage themselves. Yes, Madam Wong. There are three of them. What beautiful trespasses. She's grading on a curve. Well, Max was you? the last trespasser. I'm Woody Witherby. <laughs> Boots Malone and Jeepers. Delighted. Now, uh, tell me, what are you doing in my house? Oh, we didn't know it was your house. We thought it was a I graveyard where draperies go to die. So that I could restore it to its original beauty. Oh, we didn't mean to trespass. Oh, never mind. Just tell me, what are you doing here? 
Well, it looked like a storm was coming up. And we needed a place to stay. Come, let us leave this room. So we can spray and get the hillbilly smell out. Wow. Of course you cannot stay here. Haven't my ghost bothered you? Well... Are they real ghosts? Of course they are. Quick, Boots, fire your chest missiles you at her. Ma'am, if you just let us spend the night. You see, we're entertainers, and we're on our way to Nashville, Tennessee, to do a jamboree there. I fear I'm jamboree is code for something, and I don't want to know what it is. Well, we're going to have to wait until morning. Uh, tell me, uh, what kind of entertaining do you do? Y'all ever see singer, Magic Mike? And I pick a guitar. How charming. And, uh... What do you do, my dear? I sing and dance. I have a degree in accounting, too. Nobody it... cares, sweet cheeks. Are you an entertainer? Uh, not exactly. What are you exactly? I are exactly his business manager. Thanks to some kind of work release program, one assumes. What's going on? I don't know, but it looks phony. She seemed real nice to me. Reminds me of my mother, whom I definitely did not ever kill and dress up as. Uh, he wants two of you to kiss and doesn't I care who. I have decided that uh, you may stay, at least for tonight. Well, fine. But let me warn you. Stay in that room. You'll be much safer. We'll stay right by the fireplace. Oh, yeah. Jeepers is excited. He hasn't been allowed to play with fire since he threw that lighter fluid party. We sure do. Hey, they've gone. Just like my wife and kids. Why does this keep happening to me? Think maybe she was a ghost too? She sure seemed real to me. Well, anyway, she was nice. Letting us <laughs> Only stay in the here South can tonight. someone hold well, you at gunpoint and still be considered wish. nice. Oh. Suddenly, an 80s metal album broke out. Woody? I miss hey, my Woody. girlfriend. You know, that shapely gourd I named you Bethany? Sleep? Yeah. Boots? Sing me a song where I'm the one in a gown. What's wrong? I can't sleep. Oh, for heaven's sake. Well, let us sleep anyway. Don't make me put you in your Cry crate. Out loud, Jeeps. Watch TV or something. I'll show you. Someday soon you shall all taste the wrath of Jeepers. <laughs> ah, back when TVs were suitcases and life made sense. Well, I hope it's not Game of Thrones. I left my character I'll relationship diagrams at home. <laughs> Meanwhile, the spider living in that hat is busy laying eggs in Jeeper's Either ear canal. Are you the one she wore last night? His manager said to him, This is a big break for Was you, kid. Make sure your shirt matches the stage curtains exactly. Perfect. Or was she just God. a walking? Bland guitar guy is okay, but they should kick random scary mustache face out of the band. <laughs> Tell me shoes. Was she stepping <laughs> out on me? Also, how a chimp would react to a TV. <laughs> oh, say their telephone. Did he call here and talk to her? Did he say he I don't like the old guys glowering at you, Network. Woody? Woody, but John Hurt and Walt Disney, they're cops. She couldn't wait to be with him. And even Perry Como thinks this guy is too sleepy. Is that why she wasn't here to answer you? Well, Uncle Daddy always said the Lord would punish me for I working with the devil's music. Are you the one that she would choose? Kill, Jeepers. Kill them all. When I called here, were you out with one or with 
The TV's watching me back. No more Skinamax for cheapers. Did he put his arms around you as he held her? This is before alt country when the genre was just called alt. Tell me, dress. Was she stepping out on me? Still, way less scary than Nancy Grace. <laughs> Woody? Woody, wake up. Boots? Uh, I should have gotten his VeggieTales DVDs out of the car. Cry out loud, Jeeps. Look at the TV. Look at the television. It's very nice, Jeepers. We'll have to yeah, put him down in the morning. Let us go back to sleep. Oh, I saw these, these two weird faces on the television. Yeah, you're watching the Late Late Show. What? Late Late Show? Listen, I saw... Back when the Late the Late Show came on at 8.30. And so did I. I mean, on the television. Jeepers, you're in bad shape. You need a long, long rest. In the trunk of the if car at the bottom of the lake, you read me? Farm. Well, I saw something that looked like them. Then again, country music is known for its avant-garde multimedia performances. I'm hearing things. They are entertainers. Their need for approval was palpable. Of course they are. You take their word unconditionally? They were carrying guitars when they met. Yeah, two or three of them. Anyone can play a guitar. That doesn't make entertainers. You need panache. You need fire. Disguise. I believe they're from the master organization to halt enemy resistance. Um, oh, dear. Mothra? (laughs) Mothra. H. E. Ah. M is for the malformed genes you gave me. Right. Oh, come now. They are not mother agents. I'll take care of them. The torture wheel. Ah, that's a the slide rack. projector loaded with their <laughs> vacation photos from Epcot. <laughs> and the Iron Maiden. Effective, but primitive. We have other methods. Like making the beet spaghetti with short. not quite no. enough sauce. We must not <sighs> waste time eliminating three who are obviously nothing more than what they appear. And you still think that they're entertainers? Even though not so a single entertaining thing has happened in the I last half hour? We solved their problem. Then I suppose we must bow to our judgment in this matter. As long as I am in charge, you must. Fine, whatever you say. Don't cry. Whatever you do, don't cry. Just look at your dials. <laughs> Ugh, there are a lot of new urine stains on the carpet. Jeepers! I wish I could be as sure of them as you are. Dr. Himmel will continue to observe them while I attempt to uh, contact headquarters. Did I pronounce headquarters weirdly? I did. Will I do another take? I will not. Yes. Wait, a telephone and a camera phone? I think they're leaving some efficiency on the table here. Twenty-four thirty-six. Oh. Let me speak to the chief. One moment, please. I'll send a telegraph to him to call me, then I'll call you. Good evening, Dr. Fu. Gregor? Have you the rest of the formula? No, but Maximilian is leaving almost immediately with Madame Wong. <laughs> Madame Wong's back there they trying to kill him with her eyes. The Acme City die, die, plant. die. why don't you die? Receive the balance of the formula. <laughs> Excellent. When we receive the balance of the formula, we'll report back to you at once. We'll produce some movie of our report and send it to you by covered wagon. In the meantime, may I suggest that you have everything in readiness for the test? Of course. <laughs> Dr. Well, Fu does not say you. goodbye. It's his thing. I suggest that you Respect keep in close that. radio contact with us. We will. Come, Max. Anatole, I forgot. Uh, yeah, thanks, buddy. You know when the ape rebellion happens, I'm snapping your neck first, right? Max! Don't you realize we have important business? We have to take yeah, the night train to Mundo Fide. Your identification card in your badge. Good luck. Now, let's create some abominations, you and I. What do you say? Things really outside all known bounds. Uh, 
I'm wondering, what what exactly is this organization's business model? Uh, they make gourmet lacto-fermented salsas and do a bit of nondescript evil on the side. Oh. Well, and they also have an ape. Right, there's a steady income stream right there. Yeah, 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 let's face it, having an ape is really their core earner until the salsa becomes profitable. And say year three, just penciled it out there. I assume they're going to scream themselves awake from nightmares of having been caught in a vicious gun battle hours ago. Oh, and it's still night, by the way. Don't let the fact that it's 100 degrees and sun dapple throw you off. Yep, that's the kind of humor you get when you watch a movie with Hillbilly in the title. Hi there. Working kind of late, aren't you? Yeah. Say, you're the guy writing moon landing conspiracies on the stalls yeah, with your own right. feces. No, 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 it's not me. It's not me. Yeah, sure. I thought so. I didn't recognize your face. Very what few top scientists are riddled with it's gin blossoms secret. and stinking no of comment. alcohol. Oh, that's all right. I know all about them. I've been working here for five years. The things I know and the things I've heard, you wouldn't believe. Did you know they that Dr. Be. Susans and Rachel wore the same blouse to the Nobel Award the ceremony? Mm-hmm. Janitor. Janitor knows everything that goes on. I ain't got time for conversation. Now let me buy, will you? Sure, sure. But after 8 p.m., I'm the you one in charge of cavity searches. Secret. Yeah, that's right. Hey, that's pretty good. Of course, I'm cleared for top secret, too. Janitors have to be. Well... I told you I ain't got time for conversation. Now, let me buy, will you? I mean, this has been lovely, and you seem wonderful, but I have to go splice jeans and stuff. It looks like it. it. Don't wait. I got the key. You seem like an ugly guy. I mean, trustworthy, not not horribly ugly. (laughs) Thanks a lot. Glad to help. Hey, uh, ain't you forgetting something? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Hard to collect the diseased experimental rabbit corpses without my diseased experimental rabbit corpse bucket. <laughs> Science. It's mostly about metal file cabinets. Are you George? Yes. Do you have the formula? Yes. Give it to me. Sure, but first here's the wrapper to my sausage bacon and cheese McMuffin. Wow, the janitor was much better company, a lot more fun. If you'd betray your country, you'd betray us. Ah, I think I got shot, but it's hard to tell because of the weird music sting. Ah. All right, fed a gorilla, killed a guy, good day. I'm glad I came with you. This worked out well. A lot of fun. Uh, possibly shot. Again, unclear. Uh. Oh. Oh. Don't, don't try to say anything. I'll, I'll get help for you. If you try to say anything, you, you might blow your line twice like I did. Chief, this is Jim. My partner's just been shot. It name? Yeah. Hell, I don't know. I've just Should always called him my right partner. Away. No, he hasn't said anything yet. I'll follow through. You'd better hurry. Okay, we'll do. Now, don't try to say anything. Hang in there, my partner. Oh, take it easy. You've got oh, my partner's oh, wife at God. home, maybe, and possibly my partner's kids. <laughs> Oh, cars. Jim's partner was killed. We're pretty sure it was hillbillies that did it. Time to institute our planned hillbilly genocide. The mission is completed. Do you have the formula? Yes. If by formula you mean a crumpled piece of yellow paper covered in fried chicken stains. That's what we've been waiting for. I'd be glad to get out of this cold, damp cellar. This cold, damp cellar is how Basil Rathbone Mm -hmm. referred to the second half of his career. Wait a minute, um... 
Mexico? Puerto Vallarta. Ah, marvelous. Come on, let's call the chief. Just to let him know our mission was successful, and we'll be calling with the formula soon. So those two are going to go to Puerto Vallarta together? I am not looking forward to seeing them in Speedos, I have to say. I don't believe in ghosts. No more than he believes in dignified headgear. I don't believe in ghosts. Crop circle making aliens, yes. Ghost, no. Not about that door. It looks as though he's waiting for someone. And remember, you're my wingman oh, in Puerto Vallarta. Oh, me, your wingman? Well, I'm gonna crush it down there, bra. Oh, I hardly Not think so. <laughs> right. We may be making a grave mistake. I don't think they're entertainers. They're not in costume. True, quite true. Not in costume? I think they're confusing entertainer and mascot. Yes? It looks like we are being followed. Can you lose them? On one of the many cross streets in rural Tennessee? <laughs> are you all right? We lost them. Ah, it's good to see him smile again. Yeah. Nice. You thought it was exciting watching Jeepers walk around on screen? Wait till you see the scene of others watching Jeepers walk around on screen. I wonder. Perhaps we should question one of our visitors. Really go after his nads. Yeah, what's that? Oh, nothing. What did you say? Did, did I just hear a basement ape? You like? Oh, wait. How do you expect me to sleep when you're roaming around half a night? Rolling around, giggling, Sorry, hit me with a pillow Jeep. all sexy like. Bad sign, Jeeps. What were you talking about? I don't know. It's the first time I heard it. But when you figure it out, tell me all about it when I'm wide awake. Hello? Fake 1970s Ghostbusters? I heard you guys hire apes? Telling you there's something going on in this house. <laughs> You sure. know there is. You met the creepy owner well, and a giant hideous sidekick. I don't know. You've been doing pretty good at it. Now go back to sleep. I can go to sleep. You hear that? That thing happening you know, six feet away, directly in your like field of vision, that? Sound like somebody moaning or something. Yeah, the wind. Oh. What's that? Oh, Jeeperton Bartholomew Jeeping Dale. Your Shut idiocy up. is what makes me love so. you. <sighs> Maybe nothing, huh? It may be the branches hitting up against the side of the house. Turning your heads in any other direction, not an option, apparently. Now, that sounded like something. Like even more I branches. Think. No, that sounded like... Boots? She's gone. Well, don't panic. I'm not, I'm not. Don't panic. We would have heard the door by the way it squeaks. Let's try the hall. If it's any of them cat came back, fellas, start shooting and we'll claim we thought they were burglars. Well, no ghosts. Guess we have to try on some gowns, too, huh? <laughs> gowns. Gowns. Check the closet. Guess Boots off and went in the closet to just scream about her life. Anything in there? Just a weird wolf. A weird wolf! Again, Jeepers is the business guy in their operation. Wait a minute. For what? We can't forget Boots. Oh, man. What am I running for? I didn't say anything. Come on. I think it's our turn with that guy in the bear costume from The Shining. That stupid gorilla. Shut up! This scene is what all cable news feels like to me. I'm put on Anatole all the time. He's not so bad. Don't you remember I said just now that we ought to question one of our visitors? Yes. Well, he must have heard us talking and he wants to help us. The only smart thing he's ever done. <laughs> Screw you! Me and some buddies once typed all of Hamlet! Jeeps, we've got to separate. I'll go upstairs and you go outside and look around. Okay. That works out well on every episode of The Walking Dead. Say, Woody. Yeah. You know, after really thinking about it for three or four seconds, don't you think we ought to stick together? You're not afraid, are you? 
Well, I never won any bravery contests. Jeepers is more into how many Slim Jims can you fit up your nose contests. Might be a bad look. Okay. show about hillbillies who aren't like hillbillies at all is on. I thought the front was bad. He must be looking at a mullet. And it's spooky out here. Boots? Ooh. Boots. Hey, honey. Boots, where are you? Boots, are you on the well, ground? She's not out here. Let's go back in. <laughs> Hold it. <laughs> I wish they'd just strike oil and move to Beverly like normal hillbillies. I don't see anything. Me neither. Let's go back. They're getting too close. Then do something. Two guys who wish they were Grand Moth of anything. Terrifying ghost or cheap pinata wearing a nighty? Did you hear something? Must be wind. Yeah, I guess so. Or the changes in film stock are so jarring it's actually audible. Move the ghost a little closer. Move the ghost right. a little closer is my favorite uptight British sex euphemism. Just, just a bit closer. The ghost. Jolly well done. Jeeps, I think something's behind us. Yeah, it's the best years of your sure. life. Think so? Think we ought to look? I'm almost afraid to. I'll count to three. And we'll both turn and look. One. That's his total number of IMDb credits. Two. <laughs> two and a half. Three. Now let's heckle the Muppets. Come on, Jeep, hurry! Jeep! Jeep, where'd you go? What, eh? Help! John Carradine's son is down here auto errata a fix a himself. What are you doing down there? <laughs> well, I ain't looking for new talent. <laughs> they seem thoroughly frightened. This should get rid of them once and for all. Also, what both their agents said about this movie. Measures. Should we question the girl now? Let's wait, at least until Madame returns. Are you afraid of her? We are all dependent on each other in this operation. This is what a movie with two Alfreds and no enough. Batman would look George, like. my dear friend, <laughs> without Madame Wong, we get no payment for our services. Oh, I think it's imperative we wait until she returns. But we could start questioning her. We I could be no doing body shots off Enrique the Pool Boy by sundown. Down. I suspect she'll be angry enough. Just a little closer. Yes, indeed. It's not our fault. Man, I know the gorilla. Hey, Woody. Man, I'm putting his hat back on. Yes, the dead man's hat makes him feel safer about Where ghosts. She went to. Sure. Stand right where you are. I suggest you raise your hands very high. Like Jeepers Higher. after three Mountain Dews high. Yeah, guys, slow walking is only cool if there's an explosion behind you. You idiots. The gorilla did it. I told Teenage you to Godzilla's leave them excuse alone. for Nevertheless, everything. I decided that we should question one of them. Perhaps you're right. Hmm. Do not scream, dear. Maximilian has a nervous finger. It's smelly, too. Perhaps you'd better answer a few questions. We don't have time to answer questions. Our girl singer is missing. She was kidnapped by the boy scientists. Agents? The only agents we know get 10%. What does that mean? That means we're entertainers. Now, look, I've got to find my girl singer. Hold it! What proof do you have that you're an entertainer? Well, I get paid in exposure. My guitar? Play. Do theme from Roller Look, Gator. That girl may be in trouble. <laughs> if you're an entertainer, you can play anytime. Now go on. Locked chords any scoutmaster could play around a campfire? You must be a professional entertainer. Well, 
Well, perhaps you are entertainers. Emphasis on oh, perhaps. Tell me what's happening. Have you ever heard of M O T H E R? M O T H E R. The portrait's crotch really adds a lot to the scene. I know Mother McCree. Mm -hmm. Songs about Mother. Mother mm -hmm. is master organization to halt <laughs> enemy resistance. Mother. Hey, that's clever, huh? Wait till you hear what FUBAR stands for. My name is Jim Meadows, Mother Agent Number Thirty. We're after an organization whose sole purpose is espionage and counter-espionage. They will contact and sell to anyone. I thought you were contact agents. Then again, we I used to think all cats were girls. Saw one. Tell me one thing. How did you get here? Well, it's a long story. With a lot of padding. Yesterday, we were driving down the highway on our way to Nashville. All right, let's begin. What's your name? Boots Malone. Boots Malone. Translates roughly to not quite Dolly Parton. Her name is Boots Malone. Is that all the information you got from her? That's all we asked. I'll kill her. Oh, Max, shut up. It's my opinion Boots Malone is a code name. Yes, well, Boots stands for buy our overpriced testosterone Boots. supplements. It's yes. obvious. What could that mean? I don't know. Ah, uh, Malone. Ma Lone. Ma. Ma. Don't call me That's Mama, it. Carradine. Ma is a colloquialism for mother. She's a mother agent just as we thought. Now, Lone. Lone. L-O-N-E. Got it. L-1. She is mother agent L-1. Actually, I think that's the die number for her about? hair. My mother's in Las Vegas. You leave the interrogation to us. You go make contact with headquarters. And Max, give them the formula. Max's dream to one day wipe with paper will have to wait yet again. Oh, dear. Oh, 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 oh dear. Poor Max. Poor us. <laughs> we have been waiting. We have the balance of the formula. Dr. Himmel will read it to you. Can't you just hold it up to the camera? These calls cost $80 a minute. C3... H5 radical O number three. Is that all? No, there's more. Wait, they, they cut away from the formula transcription talk. scene? My talk. pulse was pounding. Talk about what? Feel robbed. Four, imidazole ethylamine, beta amino ethylgluxoline. AKA natural flavor. Could you repeat that, please? We have ways of making people talk. Max, take off your shirt and start rubbing on the essential oils. <laughs> you have waited so long for someone. Help me, somebody! I don't belong in this channel! This is Tinder in a nutshell. I'm not even throwing barrels down the stairs at her. What an unrealistic gorilla. Now I think perhaps you had better answer a few questions. All right. It matters than you. No, and sorry I for shouting you, just then. My mother's in Las Vegas. This is the bedroom of the lady that lives here. Nobody lives here. This place has been for sale for years. As a super secret agent, he's an expert on country real estate. Well, there is somebody living here. Maybe it's a ghost. I'll have to see that before I believe it. Then it's back to wiretapping Hollywood communists. In a closet there. I want to take a look. Waylon Jennings has just passed out in here. Yeah, that's just Willie Nelson trying out a new look. Here's your werewolf. Come take a look. Faster. Here he is. Well, that's you're going to a lot of trouble just to scare a guy. This whole house is rigged. We gotta get out of here. Let's go find that girl. I want to ask her to wear the werewolf mask. I'm into that. <laughs> Race car beds, jackpot. Put her in there. That will make her talk. Help! Help! This 
torture device can't accommodate my rocket bra! I have some trouble relocating all this equipment in our new assignment. Well, let's start dismissing it. No, no we better wait till we get a report from Dr. Fu. Not to overpromise, but he got an now. amazing deal on a pod. It'll take some time to put the formula through. There are elaborate tests to be made, and there are two parts to the formula. Dark chocolate and shredded coconut. Were? No. Of course, I didn't have time to examine it carefully. But there are some strange, unusual components. Maybe something entirely new in atomic research. This could revolutionize the monster mashing industry. Hmm? There's nothing here I recognize. It just says dignity. Let's see. Do you think maybe we should split up? Well, all right. Why don't you take upstairs? I'll take outside. All of outside. I'll scour the northern hemisphere first. Oh, by the way, what does she look like? Blonde, blue eyes. Very beautiful. If you could overlook her monobrow and vestigial tail, that is. You have been tricked. The bosom buddies are men. The formula is a fake. You gave me the formula for nitroglycerin and an antihistamine. How can that be? Are you certain? We are certain. Our eyes well, stopped itching and our breathing has never been freer. It is too dangerous to stay there. Move quickly to your next assignment. And no goodbye. Ooh, That's his thing, man. I love it. Poor Max. How you would love to dispose of the girl. The girl can identify us. She'll say, they look like Peter here. Cushing and Vincent Price, no but sadder. No one will even hear her. Help! Help! Man, he truly was a painter of light. <laughs> Well, it's not the opening tracking shot from Touch of Evil, but it is longer than the opening tracking shot from Touch of Evil. We got that going Our for them. Our next assignment is in Alamogordo. Oh, I'm looking forward to that. The dry climate will be wonderful for my sinuses. My sinuses well, have been hot. sticky and inflamed it's for like some time. Fun. Okay. Uh, occasionally I discharge small it. white worms, no. which I'm sure are contributing to the very more. dark no. mucus. Okay, okay. So all right, God. More. Be great. To we'll get find that. something else that will be just as fulfilling. Max, go check the car. Gretchen and Dr. Hillmill will take care of the other upstairs. Come, we'll take the passageway. She's going that way because the passageway vending machine is the only one that has munchos. Mm, good munchos. Love munchos. Ugh, it's Friday, 4.30. Any chance we can knock off? Keep taking passageway. <laughs> Boy, he's taking his partner's death pretty hard. This guy's just a puddle of emotions. My partner. <laughs> oh man, that's Roger. Heard he got a job with Cutco. I don't want to talk to him. He slips into this building, changes into his outfit, and becomes even grayer and duller. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have even pointed it out. It's a torture dungeon, but they strung a safety chain on the balustrade. Why? Well, one, it's an insurance liability issue, Bill. And two, OSHA sets regulations, not suggestions. Yeah, Bill, is your basement torture chamber even up to code? What? I don't... <laughs> nothing. <laughs> no, no, nothing. No, no, never mind. Let's draw the question. You guys have... No, 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 Silly man. Oh, uh-uh. <laughs> General, Mr. Belvedere, Army of Tennessee. Now, wouldn't you say that was some trick? Oh, I'd say that's some trick, wouldn't I? You sure it's a trick? Well, sure it's a trick. What else could it be? Well, it could be a ghost. Put on Unchain Melody and it see if it gets sexy that. at the pottery yeah. wheel. Go away. You don't scare us. Leave my house. You are intruders. Leave my house. How every one of my Airbnb experiences has Leave ended. Keep giving them five stars. Now, if they look real enough, sort of the guns. After them! Also, how did you miss? I mean, come on, man.
Ugh. Ever hear of a dehumidifier, you monsters? Help! Let me out! Help! Let me out! Oh. You all right? I think so. Oh, am I glad to see a friendly face. Who are you? I'll explain later. Okay, but it doesn't seem all that taxing to do it right now. I mean, I can do it real fast. I'm Boots, I'm a singer. I, I mean, see? How, how hard can it be? Hello? Where'd they go? I don't know. That girl, they must be playing games again. Go stop him. This time I'll kill him. They're blaming this on their gorilla? Hey, the guy they bought him from warned he will occasionally set up elaborate fake up. haunted houses. Give yourself up. Gorillas do that. Leave my house. You are intruders in my house. But you're not one of ours. We only hire Nazi ghosts. Man, Sherlock Holmes' paranoid last years were sad. What's a ghost? My ghost! A real one! You fool! There are no ghosts! But I saw him! Uh. I'm afraid of all ghosts! Ray Parker Jr.'s music means nothing to me! Revenge of the Bed Let In! This is for sleeping nude on us, you Woody. animal! Come on, Woody! Whatever you do, calm Jeepers' Woody. nerves! Mission <laughs> number one, right? Get over there! Face the wall, both of you. Yes, ma'am. Isn't that nice, friendly Chinese lady? Not very friendly right now. Look, Go lady, on. if you gut shot him, nobody here would blame you. Well, <laughs> not me. Nope, no way. <clears throat> so, my quip will be this is for monkeying around, <laughs> and then bang! <laughs> this is going to be so great. <laughs> Um, what, what is happening? Well, you see, Kevin, when a phony gorilla and a fading film legend love each other very much. I was worried about that. <laughs> it's, it's nice to see the lighthearted caper end in a Tarantino-like bloodbath. <laughs> How dare you say my gray puby mutton chops don't match my Grecian formula hair! Oh, you know, I really enjoyed that. I ain't never I severed a man's spinal all. cord before. Have you intruded? You have taken my name and my house. It would really change Scooby-Doo if Velma unloaded into a bunch of old men wearing monster masks. <laughs> she is ready to empty a gun into anything, and yet she spared Jeeper's life. <laughs> and so she stopped being Chinese and started listening to Molly Hatchet, and they all became the new Hillbillies in a Haunted House. Yeehaw! up in Nashville. When I make a promise, especially to a beautiful girl like you, I don't break it. Hmm, thank you. Pig. Gowns. <laughs> Mother is very grateful. Thank you. Glad we could help. You got a medal for this. Glad to help. Just mail a medal to Nashville. Just write try out ranch on the envelope. It'll get there. And ladies and gentlemen, as our heroes, I guess, I don't know, make their way to Music City, we remind you folks that if you happen upon this here little video anywhere but on RiffTracks.com, while you do the right thing now, make a donation. The penalty is one of Lon Chaney's chest hairs in your mouth when you sleep at night. Oh, oh my like, no. What? Curly, dark, oh, oh, what is wrong with that? I can feel it in my throat. I'm going to be sick. Bye, folks. It's time for Riff Tracks. Copyright by Riff Tracks. All rights reserved. All rights reserved.